Hello everyone and good day to you all. The day I'm talking about the Prodigal Sun season number two, episode number two. Um, Speak of the Devil, the episode directed by um, Antonio Negret. In this episode here, we have a people who think they're possessed. And because of that, they are doing some horrible things by killing, killing people. But in a, a very spiritual, realistic type of way. And it's up to Malcolm Bright that pretty much uses his mind, also probably gets some insight from his crazy father, and maybe some somebody else to pretty much help solve this case what's going on. And at the same time, Bright is dealing with the fact that he pretty much his sister killed the man, and then he covered it up, got rid of the body, and he's also dealing with the fact that he got away, the guilt, he's, uh, the guilt of, 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 of him getting away with it, and also the fact that he kind of enjoyed it as well too, which kind of awakened the, like the, um, the crazy part inside of him. The psycho inside of him as well that he's been trying to suppress and fight against for a long period of time, and it's affected him in a big way. But the same, this this time he can't really tell anybody. He he, he pretty much cut himself off, cut himself off, cut himself off from his therapist. He ain't talking to that person anymore. He can't tell his part, people who he, who he worked with what's going on because he'll go to jail. So he can't tell them, and his sister will go to jail too. So that's that's not good. And so he and so he he's dealing with a whole lot of stuff here, and so and still so trying to move forward and, and be a cop, well whatever he is. Yeah, and at the same time, they got this, this this other dumb agenda that's going on here with um with JT, who's been like almost arrested from the last episode because they thought he was they didn't know he was actually a detective. They thought they thought he was a black guy, so let's let's assume he was a criminal, which makes no figure sense at all because these people are from his precinct and they should know who he is. And now they and now they harass him on the job. And I just where did this racism stuff came from? Where did it come from? This dude was a detective. What? I don't. The thing is though, that the girl, she's a she's black, and then um, and then their boss, I'm not sure what he is. Is he Spanish or Asian? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he is. What is Lou Diamond Phillips? What is he? Is he is he is he is he, is he, is he, is he, is he Spanish? Something. He ain't white. That's all I gotta say. He's in charge. So where where, where does all the racism come from? Where does this come from? I just like why. But other than other than that stupidness, that the show is actually was actually I, I did enjoy it. That part was kind of was kind of weird, but the whole possession situation. But oh, okay, but other than that, I did enjoy it. Um, I, I always like the relationship, relationship between Malcolm and his father. I every scene and and again every scene with him and Michael Sheen together, I really do enjoy it a whole lot. I really do enjoy his performance. I mean, the show is not bad. It just has this weak moment here with this whole him being black and a cop and now you hear her being harassed. Mental sense to me because it just came out of nowhere. So I just, I just like, why? I mean, I, like I said, 2020 was rough. And 2021 ain't starting off great either. But still, nonetheless, it's the whole thing with the whole with the cop situation, the tension is pretty high, race relations, stuff like that, too. It's, not, it's trying to throw all that in here now, which wasn't established. In, a, in previous in seasons, so it just, it, it just come out of nowhere. Like this, I understand. Sometimes you want to keep it real. But this was a family show, and that, it wasn't part of it. So why make, why, why make it a thing? We already had that in real life. We don't need to throw that in here, too. And if, and if, and if they are going to throw it in here, do it better. So it makes sense. I guess that come out of left field out of nowhere. Why? Like, I'm trying to enjoy a show, and you're trying to keep it real, but the thing is, though, this, you establish this thing isn't real. Because the thing is, though, Michael, Michael Bright is a psychopath. He would not be in law enforcement. No. He's crazy. All, all the issues like that, too, he would not be able to be a cop, become a cop or even work with police. So already, this is not believable. So why would you try to do this? Why? Like I said, other than that, the acting and performance of everybody is fantastic. I mean, I, I enjoy the chemistry between, between the cast. That's great. The show's not bad. It has a lot of good things to it. This, this, this small element here, they're trying, to, they're trying to creep in there and force in there, which is just not, it's not working. It's not working at all. I wish they stop it. But still, this is, this is, this is, this is going to be the year for this. This is, this is the year where cop shows get dumber. I just, it's, it's, it's what it is. I don't I can't do it about that. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure about all cop shows. It might, it might affect some or it might affect like none at all or, or it might affect, affect them all. So it is what it is. Hollywood is trying to correct what happened last and happened last year and trying to, and trying to save the day and through television. Like you can't, you can't fix it. You can't fix it on TV. You can't fix it. You can't fix it. Okay. You're, you're not going to solve it. So, so stop it. Just do your show how you did your show and let everybody enjoy it. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Give people the fantasy. Let people enjoy the enjoy the world. <sighs> oh well. Leave comments down below. 
Let me know what you thought of this episode of the Prodigal Son. If you haven't been watching it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully you watch it, you will enjoy having watching it too. And also, I'm going to leave a link down below. I'm, I'm selling merch from the from different little shops that I have on, on, online. Buy some stuff. I really would appreciate it a whole lot. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Have fun. Link down below. So give my channel a like, the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate it. Like I always say, in my dreams of life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.